Guys, it's over. <clears throat> I tried to fight them. We we couldn't do it. Uh, no matter how hard I was stating the facts, I, no matter how hard I was coping, we couldn't stop it. Uh, Link Ryan, all the, I mean. Yeah, so you know, Smoke is, he, he's, he is very similar to what we've seen before. The big difference is that we are playing up the relationship that he had with uh, Kwai Liang, uh, Scorpion. Um, and there we go. On this interview, this Scorpion is now confirmed to be Kwai Liang. So, now that we finally know, I, I, it, it's really hard to accept. It's just really hard to just come to terms with, because it's not like he's just, we're, he's like passing the torch. It's like a whole entire change, which I get is like, it's a whole new era. There's like a lot of changes, but for the longest time, um, when you look, when you see Mortal Kombat, you just immediately point to Scorpion, who's also been Hanzo Asashi from the beginning, ever since 1992. Just as an example, just to like show some like past previous uh, displays of this. So here's the start of the NRS era, where you see Scorpion and Sub Zero on the cover, and then when you jump to Mortal Kombat X. He's the only one there again. He's all, he's the only one there un unless you like get XL which actually has everyone there. But remember, he's right on the cover. Right there. Right in position there and then we jump to 11 still on the cover. So yeah. He was put, he was set up as the face of Mortal Kombat and he was never even the protagonist. It was he only got protagonist once and it was because he had his own movie, Scorpion's Revenge. His story has always been like something that's just been big or like um a you a new unique trait for his character. It's like the thing that's always been behind who he is and why he's like this, why he's like angry, why he's this specter seeking vengeance, cause he lost his family and his clan all to a sorcerer and what that was thrown that was blamed thrown onto sub-zero it was this string of events that totally created this whole character Kwai Liang of course still being around is still good because like you of course get to see him um, get we actually get to see interactions with his brother which I am curious to see but it's it's like it's also weird because when you when you go back and think about it Kwai never really had his like own like his own character to call himself because he only became sub-zero because his brother was sub-zero and now because uh, he's taking scorpions title in a way like I know he's not like actually taking it away but he's like taking that title in his way so it's like it's weird to like see him not be like his own character in his own way because like we the only time i'd say you had something like that was um for like a brief time for i'd say in between M mortal kombat 2 and i'd say mortal kombat 1 because you do hear that kwai liang was around in the background at least because he did go under another code name which was Tundra, but that was it. He, was, he wasn't like, he, um, he then adopted the name Sub-Zero after Bihan was killed. So he didn't really have like any other unique name for himself later on. But yeah, n now I really need to at least know what shall happen with Hanzo. Cause will, will, will his clan be around? Or will he just like be his like own separate people living in like living like a peaceful life now? Is that what Liu Kang did to him, or are we gonna expect something else? Because we st we don't know if there is a Shirai Ryu that exists in this new era still. We don't know, so it's very hard to say what will happen. Because this is there's one weird thing now it's it's weird because we just now got um 
like an announcement for the combat pack and right there we see Takeda Takahashi so and he has he has yellow on his palette he has yellow on his palette so is he going to be Chirayu or is he going to be Lin Kuei or is he just going to be his own clan or whatever or is he going to be part of Kenshi's clan what is what is going to happen to it is going to be very interesting I'm I'm not sure how they're going to handle it because they keep in mind they did give stories to the DLC characters in 11 and I think maybe in X um, but yeah overall it's it's very hard to see that that Hanzo is no longer Scorpion in this new era. I, I'm, I'm hoping, I, I'm sure Kwai Liang will get his own way to m make make himself shine, but it, it's really going to be hard, really hard to see Hanzo go like this, because remember, he's just been around for years as Scorpion, and it's, it even hits harder, because this is also his last moment the last time we ever saw him in a, alive instead of like a specter form because this is the last moment we really get with Hansa Wasashi is him helping his past self get over his rage and, as well as trying to assist, help Earthrealm but and I think this this line this last line really uh, makes it interesting especially now that Kwan Liang is going to be Scorpion <laughs> My word. The new shrine are you? Oh, worthy. It's hot, not blood, that makes them warriors. Rest in peace, Hanzo Musashi. Rest in peace. I I'm really hoping we see something for his character in this new era let 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 me know what's what was your favorites Hanzo Wasashi Scorpion moments in the past years and what do you think will happen with this story going forward so let me know what you think thank y'all for watching and long live the Shirai Ryu